This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we build a low-pass filter in Simulink. This is a low-pass filter. The only thing we need to do is put this transfer function into Simulink. Then we can create our low-pass filter. Okay, so we take the transfer function into Simulink, change the coefficient. 1 over 2 times pi times the frequency. I choose 5 hertz in here. So the low pass filter is for a 5 hertz low pass filter. OK, now I change the background. So it will be easy to, to read the background. So what that means is, Whenever the signal is higher than 5 hertz, in ideal case, then it would be um, the, the signal amplitude will decrease. Why do I say in ideal case? Because for, for most of the electrical engineer or like most other engineering like background people, we know that um, there is called 3 dB cutoff frequency. And also that is uh, first order low pass filter. So it will, the, signal, the signal, if it is uh, higher than 5 hertz, it will be degrees. But it depends on what the exact frequency is and also it depends on the order of the low pass filter. This is a first order. So what I mean is the dropping is not that much. I have the sine wave setting up and I set it at one hertz. Let's read a uh, output. If you see this, basically there are nothing change is still the sine wave. What I mean is it let the one hertz uh, signal to pass it full. Now I change it to 10 hertz. And oh, I need to one it. Um, you can see the amplitude this time. From one, it is dropped down to 0.4. Now, what will happen if I change it to 100 hertz? Now you can read the amplitude as close to zero. So this is how you build a no-pass filter in Simulink.